Mm-hmm. Like, just be weird. That's okay. Literally. And I think weird's a bad word anymore. I used to cry over it as a kid, really? like, getting called weird a lot. Really bullied kid. And now I'm like, mm, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, well, you're like, yeah. freaky. Like, that's okay. Yeah, I'm young and kind of wacky. Like, yeah. let me be. Hi, I'm Holly and welcome to Help! I'm going to uni by Cardiff Met, where each episode I will be speaking with a real-life uni student about their university experience. Today I am joined by second-year illustration student Emmy. Hi Emmy. Hi! Lovely to see you. Me too. So, let's get straight into it. How were you feeling before you started uni? Terrified. Yeah. Alone. Mm-hmm. All of the things. Yeah. Just like, it was really overwhelming. Yeah. And I, I was the first person in my family to go to uni. Really? Because I'm the oldest, mm-hmm. but two younger siblings. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to like set the example of like, oh, okay, you can go to the uni and do the things. Yeah. I'm not from an area where people go to uni. Mm-hmm. So I was like, how do I actually do this? Yeah, like, I know, but that's scary. Yeah, it was really weird. I'm assuming like the first time you'd like moved away from home and yeah, things like that. Yeah, the furthest away from home I'd been on my own was like half an hour away. I'm yeah, from where Sol- are you from? Salisbury. Salisbury. Yeah, yeah, so I've been to Southampton on my own and that was it. Oh my gosh, that's like it's really like, itty, yeah. Bitty, like, yeah, like right down the coast, and that was it. Oh so I hadn't even been to Bristol on my own. <gasps> the dramatic yeah. gasp yeah. from me. That was so oh like, my gosh. <laughs> Big baby's first adventure. Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I've been up there up. with my boyfriend because he's from like sort of nearby. Mm-hmm. He's from up in the valleys. Yeah. So I visit him, but with him, and obviously he knows the area. So yeah. I've never been up here on my own. And I've done like the train journey a million times, and it's nothing. Yeah. Apart from there's a delay. I get scared. I, yeah, oh my god, the trains when they do like how how far away is Salisbury from like here? Two hours on the train. It's okay. it's nothing much. My sister's at Lancaster. That's like what, six hours. Yeah, I was, it's well, just crazy. Yeah, I couldn't do that. It takes me like nearly six hours to get home on the Where train. Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah. But what if I drive? It only takes like three and a half. So it's yeah, not I bad. can't drive. <laughs> Passenger princess. Yeah, literally. Well, none of my friends drive either. Though. Really? So I walk everywhere. Yeah. In these shoes? In these sandals? In these sandals? Yeah. You're walking in those? I walked in in this in in the boiling hot boiling. with my I was Stanley. It's boiling today. It's yeah, it's hot. With my Stanley in my bag, looking like an idiot, like sipping from it every five minutes. <laughs> sipping from I'm, your bag. Like, <laughs> looking like I'm like sniffing my armpit, but I'm, I'm like <laughs> sipping my. I'm just walking down the street. Two yeah. thousand me earlier. I was like, sorry if I smell everywhere. It's a really hot day today. You'll do, right? Yeah. But so you said that like, you're the first in the family to come to uni. Like, did you have sort of any preconceived ideas of like the type of people that go to uni? Were you thinking like, oh, I was like, kind of, like uni's only for moment. posh people. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of that, I've, I've like definitely met people like that. Yeah. But everyone's like really down to earth. Especially yeah. here. Like I've, I would obviously like been and toured like around other unis. Mm-hmm. But when I came here, I was like, oh, everyone's just kind of chill. That's fine. And yeah. it became like less of like a big deal. Like when I had my interview with my lecturer and she was just like really passionate, like nonstop yapping at me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is great. Yeah, I you're love like, you. this is exactly what Yeah, I, I was want. like, this is the energy that I need and yeah. I'm going to reciprocate that. No, I yeah. sort of felt the same when I had my interview. That was sort of like a big selling point for me. Yeah. Like I had it over Teams because it was COVID-y times. Yeah, yeah. But I just spoke to one of the lecturers on my course and she literally just made me be like, wow like she was really like passionate about yeah. it and I was like I want to go here like yeah. this seems they like obviously nice care yeah that's the thing I feel like it's super nice to have like teachers that care yeah. and I feel like especially feel like in the it's... school of art and design yeah it's such nice when you're community a creative vibes person in there. Yeah. as well and you want to like bounce with other people and you want to collaborate with other people mm-hmm. I don't know I just thought that everyone that kind of went because I, I'd known people that had gone through like work and stuff and they were like oh yeah I'm the youngest like I had to go like I didn't really want to go like yeah. I quit and then I like changed course a bunch of times and I was like that's fine and they were like I don't want to do it my mum just wants me to do it oh, I'm like God. do something else then yeah like, you're an adult. Feel, you can do yeah. what you want I always think that I'm like yeah. I, it must be rough like with yeah. your family like giving you yeah. pressure but I'm like I don't I'm very grateful yeah. my mum and dad have always been very much like yeah. do what you want to do and do what makes you happy yeah. like yeah. And we will support you as long as you're not hurting anyone. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, I'm not some yeah. sort of murderer. Like, no. please, <laughs> everyone needs to be protected from you. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're okay. fine. Yeah. But yeah, so you said like you sort of had the sort of idea that people go to uni they're all kind of posh and like, yeah, like, were you thinking like kind of like stuck up, really like, stuck up, like, yeah, like you need money to go to uni. And yeah. I was like, I haven't got any money. I'm really poor. Yeah, like, I can't yeah, like, be this here. Is not... Like even in first year, oh, this is fun. I was going to drop out at Christmas really? in first year. I wasn't going to come back. I didn't tell anyone. <gasps> Hi, mum. Who's watching this? Um, I was going to drop out in first year, and I wasn't going to come. Back, I was gonna like, like get a job and like move out of oh my like God. my home. Yeah, but and then I came back and I was like, oh, something just like kind of clicked. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I kind of I think that's when I kind of like met more of my people. Like mm-hmm. I already was was friends with them. Yeah. But after Christmas, I was like, oh, they're actually staying friends with me. Yeah. Actually I feel like that's yeah. the thing as well. In it's the first test. term, yeah. yeah, it's like first term is such like a whirlwind. So much going on. And I feel like you go home for Christmas and you're back home in sort of like the stability and the safety of being at home. And then you're like, used to it. whoa, like that feels like a fever dream that entire time. And then once I feel like once you go back after Christmas, it's like, I think that's what it was. It it was so much. And I was like, okay, this is a lot. Came back home. I was like, okay, I'm back to my normal life. Mm -hmm. And I had to rip myself out of that. Yeah. And I think that's the thing when you go home is you can get a bit too comfy. I know I do that. I'm
I need to leave. <laughs> I need to leave. That's and like, I've got such good friends, like yeah. loads, loads of my best friends, like at home. Yeah. But obviously, most of them go to u- away for uni anyway. And like, I love my family, super close with them. But like, I go home and I'm like, Cardiff, get me out. I'm <laughs> get like, out, back yeah. to Cardiff. Back to with my people where yeah. I belong. I definitely found that here. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I wouldn't, like, when I thought I was going to drop out, yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't have the money for this. I'm not the kind of people. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I hate the course. I didn't hate it. But I it's just, just, I didn't get it. Because yeah, they're trying to, like, break you like down. That. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, okay, well, this isn't what you were taught in college wrong. Um, yeah. You can do literally whatever you want. Because in college, they were so strict. And I had that in my yeah. head of, like, I need to be the grade boundary. I had grades in my head constantly. Really? I've only just gotten out of that in second year. Oh my god, yeah. so you're about to go into third year. Like, <laughs> what grades matter? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I honestly Yeah. It was in my head constantly. Yeah. And I was like, I need to get As a class, creative, that's like really hard to try yeah. and break out of yeah. that. Mold it was really of like, weird. oh, I need to get these marks yeah. and meet this criteria. Which isn't what it's about at all. No, it doesn't make any making sense. Making art and like yeah. is not about that. And I realised I can do it for myself. I realised that things don't need to have a purpose or I can give it a purpose. I mm-hmm. think that's the thing is that I went, Oh, I can create a space for myself. I came here and yeah. I I didn't see one yet. And then I saw people that were like me and I was like oh there is a space and I kind of just try to make it wider yeah, yeah. no I like that yeah, I like that. that's really nice but yeah I do feel like when you come to uni like you find your people yeah. and you I feel like you also sound so cringy but like you find yourself cringe. yeah like yeah I'm so my different. life changed yeah <laughs> like, same like I'm not the everyone. person Mm-mm. I the other well, the day I was a year ago no literally place, same yeah. let alone like who I was at the start of my degree and like the other day we were, it was the degree show and one of my teachers was there and she was showing us pictures on her phone that she had taken of us all on the first day of uni. She had all these pictures of us like at the sewing machines, like sewing holes Babies. in paper. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And like I was there with like pink hair and like wow. this little pink cardigan. Yeah. It's like you look at me now and it's Who's like, that? who is that? Who's that who is changed? she? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Her. Other end. Yeah. I was, I'm opposite ends of the spectrum yeah. now. <laughs> but honestly, no, it's crazy. So would you say like you were feeling a lot of like worry and anxiety oh gosh, before yeah. uni, but yeah. coming to uni was worth it? A hundred percent, yeah. Again, it changed my life, not to be cringe, but it definitely no, did. Definitely. I, I don't think, same. I like to say, I don't think I was fully conscious until I got to mm-hmm. uni. Like, obviously, I, w- I was 19 when I went. I was an yeah. adult, but I wasn't an adult. Yeah, I, was I wasn't, say, like, doing my own bills teenager. and stuff. I was a little baby, and yeah. I thought I knew everything, and now I'm very humbled in the fact that I know I don't know everything, yeah. and I'm a lot more comfortable than that. Yeah, yeah, I sort of feel the same. I feel like I've been humble. No, probably no one around me would agree with that. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel yeah. like I came to uni like thinking like, oh my God, yeah, like I know what I'm going to do. This yeah. is me, blah, blah. Oh my God. And now I look at her and I'm like, you're kind of annoying. Yeah. And like, shut up. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was... But that's growth. That's personal growth. But at that point in our life, that's... We're growing, changing. I thought I was going to be a secondary school teacher that sold comic books on the side. And now I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about opening a cafe with someone in, that I met in third year at a a change makers course from an email that I replied to at two in the morning and it's oh like God. it's the kind of stuff that, that yeah. happens so many like projects and ideas and yeah. bouncing off of people and you're like oh I didn't think I could take this path no yeah I was I want to go say. like yeah I feel like that's the thing with uni even if it's not directly related to the course that you do leaving out just like the actual like practical experience of your degree everything outside of that like yeah. going and like just like the social skills, yeah. the getting outside your comfort zone, all the other skills that go along with it is so important. Yeah, and it's the thing is as well is that I thought it was gonna be very draining. It's mm-hmm. really uplifting. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I feel like charged. Yeah, by, yeah. Don't get me wrong. It, don't get me if wrong, you asked me moments. two months ago yeah. when I was in the thick of my third year deadlines, I would be like, "I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here." Yeah, but but then it's after it, and you can look behind you and you go, "Yeah, that was really worth it." Literally, really, really worth now it. I'm really sad to be leaving. I'm yeah, like, please. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm sad. I'm like leaving all my ambassador <laughs> friends. I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. Right, anyway, I'm going to move on to our quick fire questions. <laughs> My favourite section, where I just ask you a bunch oh, of... Oh, you've got cards and everything. Yeah. Wait, that's so official. Help, I'm going to you. I love that. I know, it's amazing. Okay, if you could eliminate one task from your daily routine, what would it be? Waking up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so real. Yeah, I won't like brush my hair. I don't like it because my hair's got uh, really short and I'm trying to grow it out. So, uh, yeah, I yeah. don't like brushing my hair. I've got too much of it. Yeah. so long. Now. Are you in any sports team slash societies? I'm actually not. When I came, I was going to open a zine society. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to do that, and that's just kind of been put on the back burner. Like yeah. I've been thinking about it. I didn't join any societies until third year. That's fair. What are you in? I joined the fashion society because oh, that was like with my yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. And I joined the Met Marketers because my friend uh, was... The, I feel like this has come up in every episode. My friend was the president, but then she stopped being the president. What a flex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's so I was like, she was like, please just join. I was like, okay. That's so good. Yeah, I have talked to the Centre for Entrepreneurship a lot, mm-hmm. like because of the course that I was on and the things that I want to get started up as well. So kind of a slightly, not really. Yeah, yeah. you're like doing things outside of it. Yeah, no, I get Oh, you. yeah. What makes you smile the most? My friends. <laughs> it's actually so true. Like, no, I, I, I live that. with my friends as well. Yeah. 
um, my friends in my world. Yeah, literally, like the friends I met in in first year, are my friends now, mm-hmm. and like I can talk to everyone on my course. Like my friends are my people, but I can yeah. talk to everybody. Like I know everyone. No, yeah. I feel that. I never thought yeah. that would happen. That's cute. I like that. I agree. Top tip for making friends on arrival. Don't judge people. I know it's such like yeah. a like a silly thing, but I came obviously thinking that everyone's very stuck up. My flatmates were people that like I wouldn't like not talk to in mm-hmm. person in like it, like outside of uni, but I but you just had like these preconceived ideas. Yeah, about it. and yeah. I was like, oh, these are gonna be like really posh people. And mm-hmm. then we had wine nights on like Mondays, and we had lots of crazy shenanigans. Yeah, <laughs> and it was and fun. Silly it, was fresh re- and it was really fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I can actually like talk to these kinds of people that I was like, oh my god, they would have bullied me in school. Doesn't yeah. matter. We're in uni. We're, like, yeah, we're adults, adults now. now. Yeah, no, I get that. Matter. I get that. Summer or winter? Winter. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's too hot today, winter. I went like, yeah, that yeah. might be part of the reason. The whole winter, I was like, I can't wait for it to be summer. But I can't handle seasonal nah. depression in winter, though. No, so I don't know I about that. sad in winter. Yeah. Autumn, September's my favourite season. I think autumn. I mean, yeah. summer, I would say, is my favourite, but I love yeah. autumn as End well. End of summer. Yeah. yeah. It's a good time. If you could meet any fictional character, who would it be and why? I could meet them. Yeah. Doctor Who. Because <laughs> I'm a child. Because no, I, I loved it that. so much I growing up. I love Doctor Who when I, I went younger. to the Doctor Who experience in, like, November. It was like, not Doctor Who experience, they used to be that, and I wanted right. to go, they took it down like a few years ago, and I like cried, <laughs> as an adult. Um, it was like these, like, like, I had like a hologram in the bay, and it was for like 60th anniversary, and I have pictures of me with like my little Cyberman toy that I brought like years ago, and I was like, Dinner! and I was like, That's so yeah. cute, yeah. I love that. Embarrassing. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Oh my god, I actually don't know. I need a really? moment. Yeah, I don't know. One of the best pieces, I would share mine, yeah. is... I'm like, can't jog my memory. Be soft yeah. on yourself. I told that to myself. Oh, that's really similar, actually. Yeah. To what I could think of. It's like, treat yourself like like your inner child, like the kid in yeah. you, like parent yourself. Yeah. I've done that so really much. I've been like, okay, Emmy, we have to get up now. Yeah. We have to have breakfast. I'm like, no, I don't want to. Yeah, oh, I yeah. want chocolate for breakfast. And you go, no, no, no we're going we're gonna to be healthy. And I go. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm having chocolate. But yeah, that's to be soft on yourself here. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Best thing you've ever eaten? Sushi. I love it. Really? Yeah, I just what love kind it. of sushi is your favourite? There's Vin Sushi in Cardiff. Obviously, really good. Uh, Yo sushi, fun. Like the little conveyor belt. I just love it. I don't know what I love seafood. I don't know oh, what it see, is. I'm vegetarian. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry. Trigger. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, trigger warning. I actually I like love it. plants. <laughs> yeah. So yummy. I love to nibble on No, I love vegetable sushi though. I made yeah. sushi for the first time the other day. It was lovely. Mm. I love the cucumber one. Very refreshing. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm. I put like cucumber and carrots in yeah, mine. That's nice. Comedy or horror? Both. Yeah, combined. I think horror can be very camp and very like, mm. comedic, and I love it. I watched yeah. the other day. What did I watch? It was on Netflix with Pete Davidson, and it's kind of like a thriller comedy. I have not seen it. And it's about, like, one there and, like, it's all these, like, rich people. That sounds fun. It's good. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really good. I highly recommend if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, Favourite takeaway? Little Chinese. Yeah, Um, classic. This is one I me and my friend used to get last year she lived in the flat downstairs from me mm-hmm. and I just used to go downstairs and get like one drunk and like eat Chinese and watch like Shameless and it's great and kind we still like dream. Yeah. yeah what's your most embarrassing student moment falling off a bike at 5am I can't ride a bike by the way you can't ride a bike I can't ride a bike Emmy. and it was <laughs> it was the night before I was meant to go back for the Christmas holidays you know those wine nights I mentioned uh, yeah we were just wine those. yeah and we were mi- <laughs> a little bit too mixing drinks and I was like and you tried oh to this ride is really bike. fun yeah and my flight mom was like oh I have a bike and I was like I can't ride one and they was like let's teach you let's go teach you and I was like this sounds like a great idea you know I can't balance so I kind of went like oh like just yeah, I kind of to the side just to the side like really yeah. like quietly and quietly just, and slowly yeah and I just kind of led there and she went out without a bang <laughs> like, led underneath it for a minute like guys <laughs> you're like someone please help me yeah I woke up the next day like ow yeah that fashion happen? and bruise yeah. that's funny <laughs> what's a fashion trend from your youth that makes you cringe or laugh today I had oh my god when I was a kid I used to wear like the like the caps that that like the flat ones Constantly, but I used to what, wear like the... peaky blinders. No, or like no, no, we're talking like, like the baseball like, cap, the but baseball like cap really with flat. like the really yeah, flat like very ones. like Y two K. Yeah, yeah. I used to wear that, but I wouldn't wear it like properly. I'd wear it at an angle like oh, and that, it, like, and, and it would stick up because I was like, the cool kids will like me if I do that. Spoiler alert: they didn't. <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> they could still name. stiff me yeah. up. <laughs> that was, was really like, funny. Yeah. What's your go-to karaoke song? ABBA. That's a classic. Anything, Anything ABBA. ABBA. I, just, I just feel like Mamma Mia. We all watched yeah. it the other night. It's really nice. I love them, yeah. Do you believe aliens exist? Yes. Mm. <laughs> that I was think... a bit too... <laughs> You're like, yes. Yes, guys, I do. Guys, You're like, aliens are real? Podcast. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I could get deep into this, let's not. But I think it's like the thing of like, we're so far ahead that they're gone, or we're so yeah. f- before that they're not here yet. Mm-hmm. No, I, I family believe yeah. in that. Also, the mood landing was fake. Right. 
You think the moon landing's fake? That's my like big like bad conspiracy thing. Is I know it was real, but there's a part of me that's like, come on. Nah, my best friend lives a bit like yeah, that. Yeah. She's a bit like I just can't understand yeah. how that could. I happened. can't like you can't tell me it is. And my I'm boyfriend like, all the time is like you're crazy, and I'm like it's the only thing I believe in. I'm not like a flat earther. I'm like, but you're like the moon landing was yeah. real. To be fair, my Come dad believes in Bigfoot. That's fair. He doesn't. He kind of does. <laughs> me and my sister have this running joke that he believes in Bigfoot, and we say that's his big conspiracy. Do you know when it comes out, he's gonna be laughing at you. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna be yeah. like, I told you all yeah. that Bigfoot is real. And no like, one we'll go into the house, and he's there watching like YouTube on the telly of like Bigfoot videos, and we're literally like. So I think again. he's done that like twice and we've just really ran with it. Yeah. That's so a good story, Dad, though. if you see yeah. this, but I'm telling everyone you believe in Bigfoot. So, yeah. Right, anyway. So, why did you decide to go to uni? I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a secondary right, yeah. school art teacher. Because I was like, my art teacher's in secondary school. They're definitely not watching this. Oh, shit. And I hated them. And I don't know, they just... It just made you be like, I want to do this and be better. It's like the strict thing. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. not going homework. I'm not doing detention, which like is crazy. And then I found out... You're I like, just, I'm going to go and become a teacher just to not I'm going to be the Miss Honey of like the, the secondary school art world. Not a thing. Would yeah. never work out. I don't know. I... I've tried it, like working with kids. It's just not for me. Yeah, like I, I've worked at like like day camps and stuff. That's fine, chill mm-hmm. for like a couple of weeks in a year. I don't know if I could do it every day. No, work no. I did my work yeah. experience in year ten at primary school. I, I did like, a museum, hold a mammoth's tooth. That was fun. They had cool. a secret library as well. I know. I was living that's the dream. actually sick. Yeah. So why did you choose Cardiff Met? Like I said before, really down to earth, mm-hmm. and it was it was my lecturer. Yeah, yeah. that really convinced you. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. when I had the interview, I had my interview 10 minutes apart from my other friend who was also doing it for Cardiff Met. She's in fine art. It, nice. Like the one I was yeah. getting Chinese with. It was amazing. Yeah. And she did hers and she was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And then I'm on the other side of the table. I start it and I'm like, I'm like really nervous. And yeah. Amelia, right away, my lecturer is like, hi, hi. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is nice. Really love yeah, it. she's so I rant and rave about that woman. I love her so yeah, much. No. If she's watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're like, no, please. Like, no, she... well, you know Kane, like my housemate. He's yeah. in your course. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Yeah, he loves me. He's yeah. so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you said you wanted to be a teacher. You still, like you said, put off that idea. What are yeah. your plans? Obviously, I know you've got another year, but when yeah. you graduate, like, have you thought I have much thought more? about working with kids still. Mm-hmm. I want to do, like, workshops. I work a lot with masks and, mm-hmm. like, weird and freaky identity stuff. Yeah, and I cool. was like, I just want... I want kids that were like me and a bit funky and weird to know that it's all right to be a bit funky and weird. Yeah, and no, I know that's, that's such nice. like a like a oh that's like a like, like stereotypical thing. But no, like, but it's, I like it's that. true. It's yeah. true. Yeah, and I don't think a lot of people, especially with children, they don't tell them that enough. Mm-hmm. I think that they're like, oh, we're gonna put you in this little bitty box, and if you get out of that, we're not gonna like you. Yeah, like I'm you like, need to fit this yeah, specific mold. Make and I feel your like own that's one. the thing yeah. as well. Like, as you get older, I feel like coming to uni yeah. definitely helped me break more out of that. I feel like oh, I already yeah. did a bit before I came to uni, but I feel like yeah, that's really nice. I was so different before uni. Yeah. I was so like closed and couldn't be doing this now. Mm-hmm. Could it be doing student ambassador? I did yeah. student ambassador to like push myself. Yeah, no, yeah. I sort of did the same. Yeah. Like, if you told me like before that I would be like talking, like the other day when we literally, me and Emmy spoke in front of a lecture theatre. Oh of my people. god, that was so scary. Yeah, you were actually shitting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Come on. You were so casual. You were like, anyway, blah, blah, blah. yeah. I mean, do you want to talk? I was, I was like, like okay. send me the mic. Yeah. He's like, um, yeah, so, hey. but you did it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and it's, it's yeah. like things like that. I never would have been able, if you told me that like two years ago that I would be speaking to a full lecture theatre full of like hundreds of people. Are you crazy? <laughs> and like just calmly being like, yeah, yeah, you know, so like chill. Well, the thing is that everyone's so nice. Yeah. I think a big thing coming to uni is I'm like, oh, people are actually good. Yeah. Like, I was just so scared of people, I think. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, everyone is actually just really chill. lots of nice people. If anyone comes up to you and is like, I hate you, are so stupid. Like, why would you say that? That's their problem. Yeah. And no one's I'm ever a done that in that. Me. And I feel yeah. like... That's their problem. Yeah. I also feel like I sort of have to have this mindset because obviously I, I post on social media trying to, trying to make this my job. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like when people like say things to me and they're like, oh my God, if someone said that to me, I'd be really upset. And I'm like... That's their problem if they they're think projecting. that about me. That's they're my favourite one. It's like, you're going to cry, you're projecting? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you like, deal if with like, that. If they're like, oh, I hate you, you're weird. I'm like, you're weird. I kind of feel okay. bad for you. You're probably yeah. just in school. Yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. Like, just be weird. That's okay. Literally. I don't think weird's a bad word anymore. I used to cry over it as a kid. Like, really? getting called weird a lot. Really bullied kid. And now I'm like, mm. yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. freaky. Like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of wacky. Like, yeah. let me be. Goofy. No, yeah. People, yeah, I quite often get called weird, but it's the good weird, though. You're not like a creep. You're just like good weird. I'm like, yeah, but, not yeah. creep. No. <laughs> no. Obviously not. Yeah, anyway, so where would you say is your favourite places to go in Cardiff? Oh, I love um, the lake. I love going what, there. Both? Yeah. It's nice. my favourite. I love it. I've never actually been around the whole way of it. Really? Yeah, I, I, I was, I'm always like, my feet, my feet are going to hurt and I don't really want to.
we missed them. Oh yeah, I didn't see <laughs> and them we were, we One were... night I was sleeping, the other night I was drunk, so. Me too, but I was sleeping both nights. <laughs> I don't, I'm not crazy. <laughs> we're not fun. Um, mm. No, we were like, oh, they'll be here on the third night, right? They weren't. We were yeah. just tricking ourselves. We got like night vision up on the phone. We're like, look, there's a bit of green. It's light pollution. <laughs> It's like literally the but street like, lights. You're like, wow. It was really pretty. nice though. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Ruth, Ruth Park is really nice. Yeah. I love the lake. Although sometimes the birds scare me. Yeah, that's fine. I like looking at them. When, they, when the geese ones. are getting a bit too lairy. <laughs> <but> like, <okay, laughs> getting like a bit you, too big for their boots. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're literally yeah. a goose. Humble like, yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of scary. They didn't need to know who's present. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you say you've got any tips for getting your uni work done on time? Anything like that? Yeah, I made a schedule for myself at the did start. You? Yeah, I had like a whiteboard did it work? on my notes. Yeah, it did actually. Yeah, because I ran off of like what the uni told us it was going to be. And then, as we all know, it's not how it actually yeah. works. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know that. I was like, oh my God, the schedule's gone. I just kind of became a bit more flexible. I know mm-hmm. my friends would not think I'm flexible. They think I'm very like, and I am. That's but so not relatable. as much as I used I'm to always, be. Yeah. yeah, I'm like I'm like we need to be on time. Where are you guys? I walk into the uni. Do you know how times I'm always left without them at really? like at like nine o'clock? Because I'm like we need to go. And they're like we're in for ten. It takes half an hour to walk in. I'm like we no, need to go now. That's literally me. Yeah, my friends have a joke where like they always will take the piss out of me and they'll be like, oh, but rules are fun. Rules exist for a reason. <laughs> and I'm like, don't. I I suggested like I'm a Capricorn at the end of the day. It's just who I am. I'm an Aquarius. Oh yeah, my sister's a Capricorn. Yeah. My sister's also a Capricorn. Hmm. Trend, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I love a I love it. I love organized fun. Like I was organized, jo- yeah. I was I'm joking out with like the relaxation, yeah. but I actually love organized fun. Yeah. I'm like, this is my scheduled window to have fun, and then I can do yeah. the thing, or I do the thing, and then mm-hmm. I need to. have Yeah, fun. I'm not very good at relaxing. No, and my my friends in my house, they're like, well, I'm just gonna chill out today. I'm like, really? I am on my window right now. I'm so there, you like, need with to hurry my to do list. Yeah. I'm like, you're gonna yeah. chill out. I love a to do list. I in my notes app. Yeah. I've got hundreds of them in my That's notes so app. Good. It's actually ridiculous. Really like good. I make them every day. Yeah. Have you got any tips on like money saving at uni, like anything like that? Yeah, what me and my friends do is mm. we do a bulk Asda shop all together on like a Friday, Saturday. Uh, probably should probably do it on a weekend. Yeah. We do it whenever we can. But we do like a dinner together and then we do like breakfast and lunch just separate and like get snacks. So yeah. like dinner for the whole week will be like six quid for me. Oh and then I'll, I'll like spend the rest on like whatever else I need yeah. and then I save myself like a fun tenner to get like a coffee or yeah, something yeah like yeah. a nice little treat because yeah, you need like, that yeah. you, need, you need to treat yourself yeah but sometimes that does get spent on snacks on the Asda shop I won't lie <laughs> and then I go do you know what? I could just dip into next week's budget don't yeah. do that don't do that no <laughs> don't I, do have that. A, I have a bad habit of yeah, doing that yeah I'll be like oh it's fine we had my friend introduce me to birthday week so it's my birthday in February I'm still financially recovering oh my god yeah, yeah. I didn't don't celebrate do birthday, birthday. Week. <laughs> I celebrate birthday I actually yeah. am so extra I do every year a fake birthday and a real birthday Ooh. because my birthday is December 22nd, very close to Christmas. That's so true. So normally around the 15th-ish, I do my fake birthday yeah. so that then when I'm at uni, we can celebrate my That's fake nice. birthday. And, then and we literally, like... we, we wake up and like pretend like it's my birthday. Oh, like really my husband's nice. like, happy yeah. birthday. And like, That's really good. Yeah, and then a week later, I do my actual birthday at home. Yeah. And then you and don't then... have like the joint Christmas present and birthday present. My step does birthdays on Christmas, 25th. Yeah, he hates it. I Every year can't. I'm like, happy birthday. And he's like, happy Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, don't right. oh, <laughs> We don't nah, talk about if, it. <laughs> if my birthday was on Christmas, yeah, I'm yeah, too much. Not enjoying it. Sue me, but I'm too much of an attention seeker for that. Yeah, like, I, I need imagine a it would be a me. lot. Yeah, I imagine it, you take over Christmas. Like yeah, the Grinch, would, but like birthday like, Grinch. Yeah. I'd be like, guys, like this isn't Christmas. This, this isn't, is my take birthday. Take down the tree and put down a banner of my face yeah. and like a cardboard standee mm-hmm. of me. Yeah, Literally. Yeah. To be fair, I feel like I'm always used to Christmas decorations up for my birthday That's anyway fair, because yeah. it's so close. So you just sit and you're like, birthday. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Emmy, I'm going to wrap this up now. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's What's been lovely fun? to chat yeah, to you. I love to it's chat. It's always nice to see you. Yeah. This has been Help, I'm Going to Uni by Cardiff Met. I'm Holly and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.